Hello everyone and welcome back to our AI series in Unreal Engine 5 and in particular 5.1 because the next feature is a 5.1 exclusive and that is the touch event. Previously the touch event was basically exclusive for the C++ version of the engine. In this episode though we're going to show you the new blueprint version they've added in 5.1. Now, if you haven't got 5.1 installed for your game and you want to use the touch event, there are workarounds to creating something similar to this, uh, which we'll go through in another video later on in the series. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at another one of those senses. Let's take a look at the touch event. Now, the touch event is something that happens when you bump into or something bumps into your AI. Uh, so there's a couple of things you need to make sure you're aware of when you are enabling this. So first of all, let's go into our AI's uh, setup and go into their controller. And in their controller, we've got this target perception updated here. We've turned it off while we're working on patrolling. We're going to turn it back on in a second. But before we do that, we're going to go to our AI perception component. And on the right hand side, we've got the sight config, we've got the hearing config. We're going to add another one for the touch config. Now the touch config is pretty simple. There's very little much to really change on it. You just want to enable it really, and that's all. And we're going to leave that alone. Now, if I hit compile and save that, what that's going to do is when I bump into them and they have a hit event associated, we're going to have this target perception updated uh, trigger it. Now, at the moment, we're handling sight senses, handling sound senses. Let's make it also handle a touch event. So let's go into making handle touch event. Now, much like how we've got the handle sight and handle uh, sound, we want to make sure we're passing through the actor and stimulus into this. So let's make sure we add that to it. And we'll do actor, which is an actor reference. That's into there. And we also want the stimulus. So let's do stimulus. And we'll change that to a uh, stimulus struct AI yeah, stimulus. Yeah. Okay. And yep, yeah, very much like the same as the sight and sound. We're going to get the class, and then we're going to check if it's equal to the one we want. So I'm actually just going to copy this starting point and just paste it in here, and plug that into stimulus there. But changing the sight sense here, AI sense to touch. Okay. And now it'll go off and do their true. Now the thing I want to do is I want to respond to being touched to chase after and look up and look for me. Now, which is very much similar to this sight sense. So if we go to the sight sense, we're gonna have a very similar setup here where we do the actor is equal to player character and then checking and doing all this other stuff to make sure that all works. Now I'm just gonna take this part here and the branch and all of this bit where we change the target actor. Take the stimulus and I need everything basically except for the last known location. I'll leave that alone and I'm going to copy that and put that into my handle touch event. It works basically the same, so we can leave that alone. Um, we've got return node in the false, I've got another one in that false as well, and I think we're good. Okay, so that is all we need to do here. Now, if I hit compile and save this, I'm going to go into my event graph and I might have got sight and sound here. I'm just for testing purposes going to not plug those ones in. I'm just going to plug in the touch event and plug that in accordingly. Like so. Okay, so in our touch event, to make this work, we need to hand, uh, check to report a touch event. With that done, we now need to set up the reporting of the touch event. Now go into your NPC and we're going to add the event hit. Which is an event that triggers when anything bumps into the character and we're going to do report touch event now report touch event only exists in engine version 5.1 and higher if you're in anything lower than that this does not work and you won't be able to do this in blueprint it's only a c++ thing which is really annoying but hey ho that's what they did um, but here we've got report touch event in 5.1 now finally so we can use this now on here we've got touch receiver and other actor and location. The other actor is this other here. The touch receiver is going to be self. And the location is going to be the hit location. We'll just plug that in there. And that is it. Hit compile and save that. So now if I go to play the game and look at our character and go to debug. 
Um, do that again. The perception. There we are. Okay, so there's our seeing one. The blue one that you will see in a second is the touch event. So I'm into there. There's a touch event. And now he's coming after us because that target actor has been set. Okay, and that is the touch event. And there you go, we've now got the touch event nice and simple into our game. In the next episode, we're going to go through and take a look at the perception event. This is a different type of a, a stimulus made by the perception system, and I can't wait to show you what you can do with it. If you want to watch the next episode right now, head to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.